An EpiPen can be a lifesaver during a severe allergic reaction, but what if the pharmacy sells you an expired EpiPen? Does it still work? Yeah, that's what, what happened to an Aurora mom who reached out to contact 7's Jacqueline Allen, now alerting parents to this risk. Well, tonight, Walgreens is apologizing, telling us this is rare, but this mom says she has reason to believe, not as rare as you might think, and she is worried it could put someone's life in danger. 11-year-old oh, oh. boys just want to play basketball. Get it, Aaron. Not worry about life-threatening nut allergies. You know, you have to put it in your thigh. That's mom's job. And this week, Deborah Smith had something new to worry about. A call from the school nurse saying her son's EpiPen, the one she bought from Walgreens on February 15th, had actually expired last November, three months before she bought it. There's no guarantee that that expired medication beyond the date would have worked for him and then he could have died. So Contact 7 reached out to Walgreens, which released a statement apologizing, saying, we have reviewed the process with our pharmacy staff to prevent this from happening again. We checked and last summer the FDA said people could use some expired EpiPens for a few months longer to help cover a shortage, but that's a little comfort to this mom. He's my only child. If, you know, I can't, I cannot lose him. She says when Walgreens replaced her expired EpiPen, the replacement they gave her first expires in just two months instead of a year. And these aren't cheap. Smith paid $145 out of pocket with insurance. So you're planning to charge people full price for something that's going to expire in two months. Eventually, she got EpiPens that don't expire until next January. But it was a fight, one she says all parents need to be aware of when their child's life could be at stake. I want parents to be aware learning from experience to check yourself. Three. Jacqueline Allen. Man, he got the touch. Denver 7.